Hi, welcome to Sensuality. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to take a formula that I was working on a couple of weeks ago, and we're just going to continue with that. Now, what is in this formula so far is as follows. Iso Eugenol, Tolu Balsam, we've got a Vanilla Pod Base, Tobacco Absolute, Labdanum Resinoid, Oak Moss, Ethyl Vanillin, Hydroxy Citronellol, Lyral, Castorium, Valerian, Cedarwood Atlas, Sopopanax Resinoid, Vetiver, we have a Mercy O2, a Google CO2, Frankincense, Musk Ketone, Raspberry Ketone, Paracrasal Acetate, Civet Synthetic, Ethylene Brassulate, Fixative 505, we have a Rose Base, a Jasmine Base, a Hyacinth Base, we have Hop CO2, we have Musk HT, we have Tangerine, Coriander Seed, Cardamom, we have DBCB, Lindenol, Bergamot, Apple Red and Myrtle. So we have a mixture of naturals and synthetics. We have a few different bases in there. We don't have anything expensive in this formula. Um, I quite like how it smells. It is floral. It has a little earthiness to it. Um, but I think it lacks a marriage of the, the earthiness. Uh, the, uh, you know, it, it needs a beauty factor. Um, it needs it needs something else just to bring everything together so that's what we're going to work on but it's been a while since i've smelled this so i'm just gonna have a quick smell now when i test perfume basically this part of my hand is the only place that i can test uh perfume oils on uh anywhere else on my body and the oils just eat my skin So I like how it smells, it smells interesting. That's the, th the first thing I get is interesting. Um, it has the interesting factor already. And it smells a little dirty. Um, I guess that's the civet, but not obviously dirty. It just, you know, you can, you can tell that, um, that, there is a, that there is a dirty earthiness uh, underneath, um, underneath what you perceive to be beauty. So we're just going to try and bring everything together and we're just going to try and iron out the wrinkles. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it so far. Um, yeah, so I got some new oils. Um, these are all oils from Perfumers World. I haven't had a bad experience with Perfumers World yet, so I still buy from them. Um, so let's see what we got in here. I don't think we have a sandalwood note in here. Uh, I should say, sorry, this is a feminine perfume. Um, so I'm just trying to think what, what I can use. The perfume isn't specifically sweet. Uh, it's resinous. Um, it is floral. It's got that animalic quality to it. So we just need something. I think I'm going to add a little bit of of, um, of a sandalwood note. So I've got several sandalwood molecules. And generally, I like to use Yavanol and Bactanol. But I've just got some Ebonol. Um, so... I quite like the smell of Ebonol. I think it might work in this perfume. Um, what else have I got here? I did have polysanto, but we forgot to put a dropper in. A bit eager there. Just went all over my nose. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a little bit of ebonol. Just a touch, just a little bit, just to see what happens when we put that in the perfume. So if the sweat is pouring off my head, it's because it's incredibly hot in here. And there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the formula. Just touch my nose again. And again. <laughs> a 
Okay, so let's get started. So when you're making perfume, it's important that you write down the amount of each material that you use, just so that you can replicate the formula again and again uh, accurately. So let's add a couple of drops of ebonol. You also need to weigh um, the materials. So basically you want to put your um, beaker onto the scales and you want to press the tear button just to reset it. And now it's just going to record the weight of everything you add into the bottle. Um, so we're going to add just a couple of drops of ebonol. Just want to try and get some creaminess into it. So that was two drops of ebonol. Wait, zero point zero five oh. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, I should also point out that I added some bass notes, added some heart notes, added some top notes and I thought I still need to carry on with this. So we're just basically adding something else to the bass, to the top, to the heart, and we're doing it randomly. So there's no real method uh, that I'm using here. So we've put some sandalwood in there in the way of ebonol. I think I got some really interesting smelling. You know what I think it needs is something green something like um, tomato leaf and I, I do have a molecule here I think it might be hyacinth and it smells somewhat reminiscent of yeah tomato leaf I think just a touch of this is hyacinth body uh, so this is uh, I assume another base and I think we already added some hyacinth Hyacinth base, yep, yeah, but you know, that hyacinth base that I added has a completely different smell to this. This this one is definitely more green and the other one was more floral, so I think it's a good idea to add a little bit of this. But not too much. I think one or two drops will do it. I'll try one. Okay, what else are we gonna add? I've got some Lyral in there. Lyral is a base note. And I have some other lily molecules here, which are heart notes. I think we'll add a little bit of lily to the heart. Cyclamen aldehyde? No, this is a bit bosonic, I think. Sort of halfway between lily and ozonic. Maybe we'll use a little bit of that. But again, I think just one or two drops. I'll add two drops, see what happens. So also when I make perfume, I don't smell everything as I'm going. I don't smell drop by drop. I create a few notes that I wanna create and then every now and then I smell the perfume and then I just adjust accordingly depending on 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 whether on what I smell if it if it needs something else I'll add something else if it has too much of something I'll try and find a way to uh, water everything down again or I'll try and find an oil that just cuts through um, the density if, if if that's the case if that's what I'm dealing with um, but yeah that's just basically how I do it So yeah, that's a little bit of cyclamen aldehyde. What could work with the ebonol? I've got some cedar atlas in there. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe aldehyde C18 with that coconut creamy aspect might work very well with the ebonol. It is something I tend to use when I'm uh, creating a sandalwood accord. I do tend to put some aldehyde C18 in there, just one or two drops. So I think that's what we'll do. Aldehyde C18. And I think we'll just add one drop for now. I'm 
also using a glass pipette. Um, it is better practice to use plastic pipettes, but I'm not using any expensive oils. These are all synthetics mainly uh, that I'm adding now, so I'm not too worried. Um, so that's aldehyde C18. So let's think creamy. We've got a little bit of ebonol. We've got the aldehyde C18. Maybe I'll add a little bit of Himalayan cedar. That is definitely more creamy uh, when compared to cedarwood atlas. And it's also known as the poor man's sandalwood. So I think I'll add just a touch of that. But again, just one or two drops. I think I'll add two in there. So I don't want it to be too woody. I just want a little hint of the creaminess. This is cool marin in a 10% dilution. I'm gonna be a little bit more generous with the cool marin. I think we'll have four drops of cool marin. Coumarin's a great material to add when you want to bring things together in the base. If you know what Pro Tools or Cubase looks like, if you're mixing some music, you add reverb to all of your instruments, all of your vocals, so that everything sounds like it's in the same space. And that's what Coumarin is for me, it's reverb. Um, yeah, that's definitely the better way to explain it. Got an interesting oil jesamal jasmonil and the description said it was banana jasmine now when i smelled this it definitely didn't smell like um, my imagination imagined um, but it's an interesting oil because it has it has lots going on that you don't smell straight away so that to me signifies that it's possibly an oil that will help um, all the other oils stick together. Um, hard to explain. I guess you could say it, it smells like another reverb um, because it has many different aspects, many facets. Um, so what that tells me is that it will probably mix well with different kinds of materials all at the same time. So, but at the same time, I don't want to make this perfume too sweet. Um, I, and I'm trying not to make it too floral. And I'm aware that it, it already has the floral aspect um, and it, it has the sweetness from the vanilla notes. So. I think something like one drop. And this is just purely experimentation. I'm just getting to know these new oils. So yeah, the amounts that I'm adding, they're basically just me playing it safe. Uh, and once I get accustomed to these oils, I will be able to administer them more accurately. But we're just trying to subtly build up this um, creamy texture. I'm trying to add the green to the floral. I don't want it to be too sickly sweet. So we're just making little minor adjustments and then we'll smell it again and then just see where we are. 
So we've got some ebonol, hyacinth, body, cyclamen, aldehyde, aldehyde C18, Himalayan cedar, and we have a little bit of coumarin. Um, I'm mainly trying to focus just on these new oils that I've got, um, because basically this is just my experiment with um, these new oils. And instead of making a brand new perfume, I remembered that I had this formula.